the table has really opened me up. I really start to understand that you know, everyone's listening to you, everyone's watching you. So, you know, not one word flies by, you know. The small details really count when you're speaking. So I just like, I don't know, think before I speak. It's really changed me. At Avenues, we use a number of different best practices, a number of pedagogies. Uh, this is a Harkness table, and it's one of the ones that we, that we lean on when we're trying to teach autonomy and independence and creativity. What Harkness is about is being student-centered and addressing student questions and giving them a role and a sense of ownership in creating their own knowledge. Often, when you're watching a teacher use the Harkness method, you'll see a round table Everyone sitting at it together, looking at a text, trying to pull answers out of the text. As you move into 10th grade, this is going to become the key skill, is interrogating historical documents and really figuring out, what do I not know? What do I need to know to understand this? The problem is this new socialist government um, promised, as I said, the jobs and housing to the British, and they can't they decided that that was more important than reclaiming control over India. That's because after just, you know, being in World War II, um, they just they lost so much that India was just an expense that they couldn't bear to have. If you have students sitting in rows, facing all in one direction and towards a particular person, usually the instructor who's at the front of the class, the way that is physically set up reinforces the notion that the teacher is the center of attention and that's where your knowledge or information is gonna come from. Um, when you rearrange that into a circle where there's no clear head or end point, then everyone's freer to participate as an individual and as an equal. There's not this like, constant like, scapegoating. There's no one at the front, there's no one at the back. Uh, no one gets distracted as much. So it just puts everyone on an equal playing field. We've had a lot of people who have kind of come out of their shell in terms of speaking up. I know several of my classmates didn't really talk in the beginning of the year, and now they're reading passages from Shakespeare, quoting things in um, Chopa. So it's been a really nice progression to see. Using hardness has made me become a much more outgoing person because you're sort of put in a situation where you have to talk and say your opinions and stuff, and you can't really be shy. And so there becomes peer pressure to actually do the homework, to come to class prepared, to try to engage in the discussion, to make it better. And it's not teacher driven, it's actually peer driven, which makes it a lot more effective. When you're sitting in a circle working with people, the fact that there's a multiplicity of approaches, possibility of multiple answers becomes much more explicit than when you're sitting in rows focusing on one person who's giving you information. When you have a discussion, you can really pull out all these different perspectives from your classmates and you go into all these different areas that you wouldn't necessarily have talked about. We just did our like capstone project and we had a couple of discussions about uh, what we were gonna write about and I really got some great ideas just from hearing other people talk. Harkness is a uh, great practice in teamwork and group problem solving because that's really essentially what's happening around the, the class. This is a very common methodology in business schools. They realize that uh, you know, high quality give and take is the stuff of business. The Harkness method teaches a certain kind of maturity and in a way it teaches a certain kind of citizenship. You do need to grow into a certain kind of learner the kind of learner who has the confidence to find their own answers. We want graduates who go off to college and can do it all on their own. I liked being able to speak and share my thoughts and see how others react to it, because that way I can refine my idea, and the more people that critique it, the better my idea gets, and then the better I can transfer that into paper, and the better my work will be.